All right, good morning, church family. Good morning, Pastor Chris. Today's opening message, we're going to be going to Psalm 92. But real quick, I want to thank all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. Remember to give glory to God. Remember to give our great Father in heaven all the glory and thanks for what he's done for you, providing a way to go to heaven. Also, if anybody likes these, share Please, they're throttling us back and trying to stop me from even being on Facebook. So, um, you know, a little bit of help here. Um, all right, let's go to Psalm 92. How great are your works? A psalm, a song for the Sabbath. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night, to the music of the lute and the harp, to the melody of the lyre, for you, O Lord, have made me glad by your works. At the works of your hands, I sing for joy. And you know what's awesome about this? Is that we should be singing for joy. We should be giving God glory. As a matter of fact, when you look at Philippians chapter 4, how do you find that peace that surpasses all understanding? You find that peace that surpasses all understanding by... You find that peace that surpasses all understanding by giving glory to God. You rejoice in the Lord. Philippians 4.4 oh. 4. Rejoice again, I say. Then let your requests be made known evident. You see that song, that music, that stuff that hits your heart? Yeah. That joy that <laughs> only comes from God? Mm. Music speaks to you. If you're putting good music in, godly music, that's what's going to come out from within. Mm. But if you're putting stuff in this trash... Because it sounds cool or it reminds you back when you used to ride in the back of a car and get drunk at night. Bringing back those memories. That's what's coming out. Let it be something that glorifies God that gives you that joy. Sing for joy to the Lord. It says, how great are your works, O Lord? Your thoughts are very deep. The stupid man cannot know, the fool cannot understand this. That though the wicked sprout like grass, all evil doers flourish. They are doomed to destruction forever. You know, it says, hey, even though everybody around you is evil, mm -hmm. even though everybody around you seems to be getting away with things, they're doomed forever in the end. They're only getting away with it for a season. Yep. They got all eternity to think about what they did. And pay for it. You don't want to be one of those. <clears throat> but you, O oh Lord, on high forever. For behold, your enemies, O oh Lord. For behold, your enemies shall perish. All evildoers shall be scattered. But you have exalted my horn like that of a wild axe. You have poured over my flesh oil. No, you've poured over me fresh oil. Sorry. My eyes have seen the downfall of my enemies. My ears have heard the doom of my evil assailants. The righteousness flourished like palm tree and grow like cedar in Lebanon. Yeah. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of our God. They shall bear fruit in old age. They are ever full of sap and green. To declare that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Amen to that. There's no unrighteousness in the Lord, and the only way to be found righteous is through Christ Jesus. 
Jesus' blood paid our way. When Jesus died on that cross, his final words were to tell us that it is finished. You got a choice to make. Are you going to accept the fact that Jesus paid your way to heaven? There's nothing you can do to earn your way. Or are you going to fall with the evil? Because if you don't make that choice, you're going to fall with the evil. And that's not God's intention that you do that. You see, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, our loving Father, so much that he gave his only Son, his only begotten Son, his one and only special Son, that whosoever believes in him, anybody that believes should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again in three days, you're going to heaven. Amen. He paid your way. It don't matter what your past is. You know, 317 tells us, For God did not send his Son into the world to <laughs> condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Yeah. Jesus is the only way. Yeah. We need to give him that glory. We need to give him that praise. And we need to allow him to work in our lives. You guys be blessed today. Thank you, Pastor.